Reaching for the lunar surface, why landing pads matter. The moon, our celestial neighbor, beckons. It holds secrets of the early solar system. It offers resources for future exploration. But to unlock these secrets and harness these resources, we need more than just spacecraft. We need infrastructure. We need landing pads. Landing pads are not just flat surfaces. They are gateways to the lunar surface. They provide stability for spacecraft. They protect against dust plumes during landings and takeoffs. Without them, lunar exploration becomes significantly more challenging and risky. Imagine trying to land a spacecraft on a surface covered in fine, abrasive dust. This dust, called regolith, can damage sensitive equipment. It can obscure visibility. Landing pads mitigate these risks. As we plan for a permanent human presence on the moon, the need for robust and reliable landing pads becomes even more critical. They will be the foundation upon which we build our lunar future. The moon's harsh reality challenges to construction. Building on the moon is not like building on Earth. The lunar environment presents unique challenges. The thin atmosphere offers little protection from meteoroids or radiation. Temperatures swing wildly between extreme heat and frigid cold. The lunar regolith itself poses a significant challenge. This fine, powdery dust, created by eons of meteorite impacts, is easily disturbed. It can clog machinery and abrade surfaces. It behaves differently than soil on Earth, making traditional construction methods difficult. The lack of a substantial atmosphere also means that there is no protection from the sun's radiation. This radiation can damage equipment and pose health risks to astronauts. Building structures that can withstand these harsh conditions is paramount. Overcoming these challenges requires innovative thinking and cutting-edge technology. We must adapt our methods to the Moon's unique environment. Fortunately, scientists and engineers are already developing solutions. Lunar Solutions – Building with the Moon in Mind one promising approach is to use the Moon's own resources to our advantage. This concept, known as In-Situ Resource Utilization, or ISRU, aims to minimize materials transported from Earth. We can extract valuable resources from the lunar regolith itself. Three-dimensional printing offers another exciting possibility. Using lunar regolith as a building material, three-dimensional printers could create landing pads and other structures layer by layer. This technology has the potential to revolutionize lunar construction, allowing for complex and customizable designs. Modular pavers present a practical solution for creating durable landing surfaces. These interlocking units can be easily transported and assembled on the moon. Compaction techniques can then be used to create a solid and stable surface. Applying special coatings can further enhance durability and reduce dust. By embracing these innovative solutions, we can overcome the challenges of building on the moon. We can create infrastructure that is not only functional, but also sustainable and adaptable to the lunar environment. Section 4. Taming the rocket's fury, protecting pads and progress. Rocket exhaust poses a significant challenge for lunar landing pads. The force of the exhaust can blast away surface material. This creates craters that damage the pad and generate massive dust clouds. These clouds can interfere with landings, damage nearby equipment, and pose risks to astronauts. To mitigate these effects, engineers are developing innovative solutions. One approach is to optimize engine designs for lunar landings. Engines can be throttled down or use different fuel mixtures to reduce their exhaust plume velocity. Another approach is to implement deflector systems. These systems can be integrated into the landing pad or deployed separately. They redirect the exhaust plume, diffusing its energy and minimizing its impact on the surface. By combining optimized engine designs with effective deflector systems, we can protect lunar landing pads from the destructive forces of rocket exhaust. This ensures the longevity of the pads and the safety of future missions. Section 5. Building for the Future, Location, Sustainability and Redundancy 
Selecting the right location for lunar landing pads is crucial. Factors like latitude, terrain, and access to resources must all be considered. Ideally, landing pads should be situated in areas with ample sunlight for solar power. Proximity to permanently shadowed regions, which may contain water ice, is also advantageous. Sustainability is paramount for long-term lunar habitation. Using locally sourced materials, minimizing waste, and implementing recycling systems are essential for reducing our reliance on Earth. Designing landing pads and other infrastructure for easy maintenance and repair will also contribute to their longevity. Redundancy is another critical consideration. Multiple landing pads in different locations provide backup options in case of damage or unforeseen events. This redundancy ensures that lunar operations can continue uninterrupted, even in the face of challenges. By carefully considering location, prioritizing sustainability, and incorporating redundancy, we can create a robust and resilient lunar infrastructure. This infrastructure will pave the way for a permanent human presence on the Moon. Section 6. A launch pad to the stars. Securing humanity's lunar future. Building landing pads on the Moon is not just about overcoming engineering challenges. It's about pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and expanding our presence in the cosmos. Each successful landing pad brings us closer to a future where humanity has a permanent foothold on the lunar surface. These pads will serve as the foundation for lunar bases, scientific outposts, and even launch sites for missions further into our solar system. They represent a commitment to exploration, discovery, and the advancement of human knowledge. The challenges are undeniable, but so is the human spirit of innovation. By embracing new technologies, utilizing lunar resources, and adapting to the Moon's unique environment, we will succeed. The knowledge and experience gained from constructing lunar landing pads will not only benefit future lunar missions, but also inspire generations to come. As we gaze upon the Moon, let us not just see a celestial body, but a symbol of our boundless potential. The journey of building a lunar future begins with a single step, or rather, a single landing pad. From there, the possibilities are as limitless as the cosmos themselves.